because I was fired because I have osteoarthritis. F I R E D. It's Joshi's world. It's Joshi's world. She went to the doctor and her whole world turned. It's Joshi's world. It's Joshi's world. She's going on adventures. It's Island Girl. She loves her tummy hikes, beaches, and tours. It's Joshi's world. It's Joshi's world. Welcome to Josh Nets World. So today's video and probably several of my videos this year are probably just not gonna be my typical videos where I have my setup at the background because my setup is actually at my mom's house. And guys, I just can't get there. <laughs> like I can't. I go to school full time and back to work. Jeff is actually eating in my hand at this point. So I'm yes, you're eating, yes. I just eating in my hand and I study and I exercise so I just don't have the time so I promised myself we're gonna do 52 YouTube videos this year no matter what and it is not about the setup it is about the quality of the video however guys comment below <laughs> if you're okay with us just having some chit chats in my car for the time being until we get some time to oh, my necklace is a bit broken until we get some time <laughs> sorry about my necklace until we get some time to really um have a nice setup but it's not about the setup it's about the decor plus me sitting in my car today is actually a good way to start the year i want to say happy new year i wish you nothing but love prosperity growth and money is going to flow to you through you your bank account is gonna be loaded okay and guys so five tips I want to give you for 2022 and this video actually has to be cut into because it's a clip I have to clip in and that clip is actually about 14 minutes long my first thing is be a good human you don't know people's story you do not know people's struggle so I am a disability advocate when I was 24, I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis, the cartilage in my knees are going away, and I decided that after taking my health serious, I'm going to have to go to the beach, I'm going to have to exercise, and I'm going to do all of those lovely things. And one of the things I decided to do was to have a cleanup last year, <laughs> January the 3rd Somebody reached out to me, and they're like, you know, we can do it, and I got my friends together, and we did a cleanup. When I got home, <laughs> we got onto social media and the person was like, clean up gone wrong. And it was just a bunch of like negative comments towards it. And by the time I get home, I'm tired and I'm really crying my eyes out. And apparently my phone audio, at that point last year, I actually dropped my phone in the water. So the audio is a kind of crooked, but take a look at the clip and then we'll come right back all right guys it's like five after five i've been up since like 4 a.m today was the first beach cleanup that was organized so what happened i went to the doctor two years ago and you guys know that they would have said to me that I have arthritis and two years ago when I was diagnosed <laughs> okay. I went to the doctor they would have said to me that you know I held serious and I remember I'm going to the pharmacy and the guy's like you know you're taking your arteries your artery you're not taking your arteries serious but I've seen it deteriorate and people move from being so functional to like you know they can't move and I laugh it off and I recognize it you know things aren't going I go to any specialist not last year and my kids, you know, I still didn't take my health serious. And I recognized COVID happened. I was like, you know, I'm going to take my health serious. And 
they said. You need to build the muscles in your thigh. So every day I get up, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And I have to fight my silent battles because which I did into one beach all the time I'm gonna go I'm gonna hunt for all 365 beaches because if you gotta go at least make it fun at least make it fun at least make it something that you know you're gonna get up and you're gonna be excited about like if you gotta exercise on a saturday morning no matter how you feel you're gonna get up and you're gonna go on this hike i'm gonna document it all and channel You know, and, uh, it says that you're diagnosed with something or something isn't gonna happen because we are still breathing. And I said, you know, I'm gonna go to the beach. And the different beaches, they're so filthy. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna organize. And my friends and I are gonna go and we're gonna do a beach cleanup. We're gonna do a trail cleanup because they're f I go all out today and then you get on social media and try to discredit all that I did and it's all oh it's funny. It's not funny to me. It's my life. This is my life. This is the reality that I face every single day. I get up and my knees hurt. I get up and I don't feel as optimistic. But you know what? I'm going to go. I go and I we're going. She's like, you know, I need to get a new shoes for work. And we know we're going shoe shopping. And we're like, you know, when you put on a high heel shoes, you walk that walk. You feel powerful. You feel great. luxury anymore because my knees are cranking up and here's me laughing say so, you know i have old people knees and it's it i can laugh at myself now but it's still a reality that i face every day and i feel like you know i worked so hard today i i make i i ensure that things are put in place and then my friends are here sending me this clip <laughs> sending me several clips everybody has a clip everybody has something and i'm like you are serious right of my life this isn't a game to me like getting up and hiking isn't because oh boom i want to go hike like i have to i have to get up and hike i gotta go to the beach I have to go to the beach and it is not funny to me 
so while it may come off as oh i'm laughing and know oh, it's all fun and games to you and it's a joke it is the reality that i face and i just feel like you know people will be like oh it's so fun it's not funny it is not funny when i put work into it when i put my soul into it when i get up and i do something and then you want to discredit everything that i did it is not funny i don't think it is funny i don't no is laughing i just don't i said to my friends today the hike that i went on which i also took my friends to i said like you know when we're going when we were walking to the last beach it was so filthy i said you know i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna clean this beach in me and on having a cleanup i did not plan on having a cleanup in january but you reached out to me and i said okay boom i'm gonna make it happen i send a message and my message is so specific i said to my friends wear a white shirt wear a blue pants the message was so specific it told you the color jeans pants to wear it said the color jeans pants to wear and then i sent a message and one of my friends responded like I want to go in a branded shirt i'm like i'm gonna make it happen i contact the girl who does my designs i said to her you know remove may the 21st and she's like you know just if you're gonna do multiple in the year we're not gonna put the date on there i go and i'm like you know one shirt per shirt then to print is $35 it's $65 per shirt i bought gloves i bought mask i bought face mask just in case that people didn't have face mask then i call my mom and i say to my mom you know it would be good if at the end i had some tea to give people i call my friend i'm like can you do some bakes and my mom says you know the part that i said to my mom you know my boyfriend has a pot i'm gonna go i leave from john's i already went to buckley's i went to hike in the morning i went to town i get to johnson's point and i leave from johnson's point drive back to buckley's to take that pot because i needed to get ensure that my mom could make the tea this morning i leave and i get all the ingredients to make the dumpling for something out here calling everybody like you know you're still coming you're still coming it is not a joke to me it is not a joke i don't think it is funny my life oh i'm gonna put on a high heel shoes i'm gonna be all i'm a this is a it, it is not for publicity it is because i'm a genuine person I'm genuine. You see ya. I'm gonna hike on a Saturday. I wanna clean four of these trails that I went on. The hike on a, that I went on yesterday, it was filthy. And I said to my friends, you know, boom, we're gonna do one every quarter. We're gonna clean one beach. We're gonna clean one trail. And these are the beaches and the trails that I find when I go on a hike on a sun on a Saturday. And then my friends here sending me these messages like, Josh Renette this, Josh Renette that. Like, I feel a... It is not funny. It is not a game. It is not, oh my gosh, I'm a diva. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put on this. I'm going to come. I was specific. And nothing tall pisses me off than when people lie on me. If you're going to do anything, don't lie on me. I was specific in my message. I gave a date. I gave a time and you're here saying oh i didn't get the memo i didn't know you did know and caption oh beach cleanup fail how is that fear Amy, oh I'm, I'm doing i'm doing this for the camera this is my life who comes after me you know it doesn't matter if you are diagnosed if somebody says you have a disability life doesn't end i get up on a saturday morning and i go on a hike i i'm exploring antigua and because guess what the doctor says maybe when you're 40 you may not be able to walk i may not be able to walk but guess what when if i get to that point i hope i never get to that point i would have lived i, 
a stunt. I am all old. No, Joshua's world is Joshua every day it is me telling anybody who was diagnosed anybody who has a disability life doesn't end you get up and you make the best of it you gotta go to the beach i'm gonna go to all 365 beaches i have to exercise guess what i'm gonna exercise i'm gonna go on a hike i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go search for the beauty with the world and let people know you know i live on a beautiful island i can do it you can do it too i don't think it's funny Tension was pure off as it was pure it did not agree me anything do not lie on me oh I didn't know I didn't get the memo and then you make it seem as though it, it was myself and all other 15 people who were there today we left there feeling great when i organized this event and i said to the truck driver he said to me like you know just i can't come when you're going but i'm gonna come at 12. i knew i was gonna go to free town twice today and i was okay with that because it was for a good cause it hurts my name do not make it seem as though you know it's all fun and games it is not it is my life it is a reality that i face every day and i just want to get up and survive i want to get up and know that you know my knees are failing but i'm fine <laughs> at 26 we're gonna make the best out of it we're gonna get up and we're gonna go on a hike we're gonna go to the beach and you think it's funny it is not fun and games and you are here like oh it, 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 it hurts do you know how much work gave her a hundred dollars because you reached out to me you told me you we haven't bought garbage bags we haven't bought the gloves this is my life That is probably one of the most candid clips I have about living with osteoarthritis. This is my story. This is my life. It's all fun and games to be like, oh, she has arthritis and laugh, but it's my life. And that is why the first tip that I have is to say, <laughs> be kind to everyone that you meet and be a good human because you really don't know people's story. You don't and a lot of us are fighting silent battles and you see us and we laugh and we smile and you don't know your actions your actions you who's watching this can definitely impact somebody's life and you don't want that for yourself you don't want to go to sleep knowing that you know you made somebody's life horrible I'm telling you that day I cried <laughs> I cried because I know that I put so much thought and emphasis into it and it is my life it is my life me going to the beaches me hiking and all that it is not a joke I have arthritis I am here changing my diet I am here exercising for 20 minutes a day after this human because I have to get back down my weight and I just want you to know to my first tip my first tip is to be a good human be kind to every single person that you meet because you don't know that person's story straight on to point number two i have this glow and this peace within me because father jesus gave that to me god is an awesome god he is magnificent he is our father 
and I'm telling you, I grew up going to the Seventh-day Adventist church and I stopped going to church, but as I got older, it's not like I didn't believe in God, I still believed in God, but last year, <laughs> I got to a really dark place and my friend said to me, like, you know, maybe you should read the Bible. I actually have a video, you can click the card above to watch that video where I talked about going on a 60 day fast and during that 60 day fast, I started to read the Bible. So what I did was in May, I did May and January and then I did June and February and then I came down and in December I eventually read off the Bible and this year I am encouraging you to read the Bible with me this year. Yes, I am encouraging you to read the Bible with me this year. We are going through the Bible again for a second time and I really think it brings you closer to God and God makes everything better. Don't come and be like, oh those i'm not what being one trying to be one of those old-time christians and be like oh just pray and it's gonna work out you're gonna have to put in some work <laughs> because even with reading the bible like it takes some work now i'm actually getting a bit better so i listen to it in the mornings that's why i believe in the daily audio bible app shout out to the daily audio bible community like guys the link is gonna be in my description below so you can actually click on the link below also my car is on because we can't sit in here without the air condition so tell me if that is also an issue and the audio but guys so <laughs> God makes everything better reading the Bible really did change the way I look at stuff like getting up and praying I'm more spiritual and I will say to anybody God is good God is good all the time God is good and I am saying to you read the bible with me and my point tip number two god makes every single thing better life is gonna throw us curveballs so <laughs> one of the main reasons for my depression last is because i was fired because i have osteoarthritis f-i-r-e-d yes in the comments you're gonna be like yes i was fired i don't have a job now we're here going through a whole lawyer it's a whole process I am not at the place where I can discuss the fine details, but I can definitely say I was fired because I have arthritis and this is an exact reason why I'm a disability advocate. And this is why even that clip that you just watched, it is real. This is real. Me having arthritis isn't a joke. This has impacted my life in so many different ways. Like I'm here, my God, it's two jobs I have and not one, so I still had income. Like. <laughs> let's just not talk about the tears that I cried and the really dark place that I got to at some point in the future we'll have a hood video when this case is done y'all are gonna get the whole story y'all are gonna get the videos y'all are gonna get the documentations because guys <laughs> your girl <laughs> actually the day that I'm recording this video I actually dropped off a letter <laughs> so I'm telling you right <laughs> I go to the attorney right and the gentleman has to go through 101 pages. <laughs> Ali said that to me, Josh Runette. <laughs> and I'm saying to you guys, you see, today, this video is recorded on the 19th day of January 2022. I am in a good place. I can laugh about it. I can smile about it. I've been playing. This is a move that Tasha Corbs and Brandon would have sung because I'm telling you guys, it took a lot of strength to get to this place today. It took a lot of tears to even talk about this situation and not get angry. And I'm going to say to you, there, babe, can you want the rest of your bottle? Okay. 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 I'm a mom. Yeah. As I was saying, it took a lot of strength to get to this place and I'm proud of myself. And I'm really glad that I have a really supportive other half and I have supportive friends because I'm telling you, last year this time I was a hot mess. That's because it just started and there were just so many things that were just not going wrong. Plus we're in a pandemic. But guys, we're enough of that. I'm just saying to you, reading the Bible is going to make you feel better money is going to flow through you money is going to flow through you blessings are going to come your way god is going to do things that you wouldn't even think of doing hello that man above he is awesome so 
guys know we're on the bible right i am really thinking about doing some reels on instagram because the bible makes me happy <laughs> there's some stories that you're like what what no no it's lies it's lies it's lies <laughs> but guys we're gonna have a whole video we have to i can't put it in this video we're just gonna have a video with some of my moments from reading the bible yeah we're gonna have to have some of those because there were some stories that had me like what what <laughs> and guys this video is actually gonna be cut into two the third tip and the last tip in this particular video guys you are stronger than you think and I will say that from experience, you are stronger than you think. A lot of us are going through battles. Again, this is why we gotta be kind and give yourself some credit. You are way, way, way stronger than you think. You are awesome. You are powerful. You are loved. And you are stronger than you think. I am telling you guys with all of my might that in 2022, those three things, first three things we want to go through the year in, be a good human, be kind to anybody that you meet. Number two, God has to be in the midst of everything. Read the Bible with me. And tip number three, you are stronger than you think. You are way stronger. God loves you and guys in the comment section below just tell me can we just have some of these car conversations this year just because i know i'm a human i really can't go by my mom and do the setup i'm still studying to be in a certified accountant guys guys <laughs> that's the whole situation and i'm back to work full time and jabez isn't sleeping through the night no he's not he still gets up at night at this point of recording this video i'm so exhausted i am so exhausted but still i promised myself that i want to definitely get my youtube channel up and running sharing more content this year and no matter what we're going to have 52 videos but guys like share and subscribe definitely tell me if you can hear my car and if that's a distraction and if we can just have some sit down conversations in my car this year but until the next video guys bye